We start this route in Sabalele, the birthplace of Chris Haney. Uh, Chris Haney was, was immensely human, and that was his, perhaps his, his greatest quality. As we all know, he grew up in deep, deep rural poverty. And unlike many people, understandably, who came back from exile and from MK camps and so on, he never, never, never forgot uh, his origins. Uh, I don't mean specifically geographical origins or ethnic origins, but con constantly went back uh, to deep rural areas, um, the kind of areas that he'd grown up in as a young boy. Uh, of course, I knew him from an early age. He used to go past our home to school. He did his uh, lower standards where his home is. All of us are proud of him, despite the fact that we differed. He played a, a leading role in the struggle. Most meaningful things that I've heard said of Chris Hani was said by someone that knew him in Angola, uh, in Umkonto Wissiswe camps, and he said that, Chris, when we needed a commander, he was a commander. When we needed a father figure, he was a father. When we needed a mother figure, he was a mother. When we needed a brother or a sister, he, he played those roles. And th that, that for me captures the essence of, of Chris Harney. He was hugely empathetic. So when he came back home, it was on the eve of the new dispensation. So we, we never had an opportunity to sit down and even talk for that matter. I was in the next door office to him in the SACP headquarters in those last years of his life. Although he was hardly ever there, to be honest. He was in, uh, in Carter controlled hostels, going to talk to in Carter hostel dwellers. He was out in rural areas and so forth. Um, but, uh, you know, when we got the chance to speak to him, he, he, one of the things that kept coming up from the media was, well, what do you expect to be, you know, in the new government and so on? And we said, quite honestly, that he really didn't want to go into government. He wanted to continue to be organizing in hostels and in rural areas. It was his death that brought about a, a situation where people felt that we have lost a son. 